What's up, everybody? I'm Ethan Lee, also known as Watcher Syndicate. Financially this week, on the 22nd, we got paid 96 cents from Fidelity High Dividend ETF, ticker symbol FDVV. We also put $49 paying off some Discover debt. All right, so today we're actually going to use a different little camera setup. Well, I guess technically the same. I usually show this off in the video while I talk about all the finance and like magic cards and stuff, but I figured this shot might be nicer. But yeah, this week we got another box of Commander Legends. And as you can see here, we paid $109.99, which is a little much. But I paid using store credit, so I didn't really use much money there. It's more op opportunity costs than real liquid cash. But as you know, I traded in a bunch of cards. A bunch of stuff happens. And then they get boxes, and I go, hey, I want that box. And they go, okay, we'll sell it to you. And I go, but I don't want to pay cash. And I don't. Anyway, uh, as per usual, I have a little box protector made by one of our great friends in the little private Facebook group. And the Commander Legend boxes are a little bit of a tight fit, but that is A-OK, -okay because, you know, we like doing that here. You know, as uh, some people say, giggity at that joke. So we like it. We like them tight. Anyway, we'll fold it together. I always write the price and the date I pick it up on on the sticky side so I can just, you know, stick it on the bottom of the box as opposed to sticking it onto the bottom of the actual booster box. All right, like I mentioned, it's a bit of a tight fit, so we'll have to, you know, give it a little squeeze. Uh-oh. I don't want to break the box or damage the integrity of it, but, you know, just give it an even push on all sides. Sometimes the little, like, shrink wrap section gets caught on it, which is a little annoying. But yeah, and with that, this is our, I believe, fourth box of Commander Legends now. Let me check my inventory sheet, actually, and we will find out. I love my little clicky keyboard. But yeah, this isn't exactly the reason why I'm shooting it in this angle. We actually have a little mail call today. This was addressed in a really weird manner, so I think this is from Secret Santa. If it's not, I'm going to have to cut this portion out. But I opened it, and there was a weird note inside, so we'll, we'll find out. But yeah, let's see. Um, Commander Legends Booster Box. We already have four, so this is our fifth one. All right, so after this, we need one more, and then our wonderful case is done, which I'm very, very happy about. 12 20 All right, we'll throw this off screen now. Anyway, so it turns out uh, that was not actually from my suit of Santa. It was an ad that was, like, annoyingly done. It said, uh, resident, so I was like, maybe my suit of Santa is just being cheeky, you know? Turns out, no, that just was just an ad. It was a handwritten ad, which is, like, props to uh, going above and beyond for an advertisement. But also, it's an advertisement, so I don't really care. I don't want what you're selling. But I do know this is most likely from my secret Santa. This is uh, one of the packages. I think there might be one more coming, or this might be it. But other, anyway, that doesn't really matter because, you know, Secret Santa went above and beyond this year, and I appreciate it nonetheless. Ooh. All right, so a Crimson Val pre-release kit. Hell yeah. We will open that on camera. Uh, maybe. In fact, I actually, I believe I sent out one Midnight Hunt one. And I, it's really funny that I got a Crimson Val one back, which is neat. But, oh, okay, so I am quite excited for this one. Always love me some packs to crack. So yeah, let's do that now, actually. This is going to be slightly annoying in the sense that I need to clean off my desk so I can actually see what I need. But we're going to run through one of our little... Pre-release, not really pre-release, but one of our pack opening thingies on the main video this week, which is interesting. We'll start off with our good old Crimson Vow. As I do this, I'm going to go on and pull up the... Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm probably not going to open this one because it's nice and sealed. Uh, I might open it, actually. I, I don't know, but until then, I'm going to log this in my inventory list. I don't forget I have it. And that actually brings us up to a total of 10 Crimson Val pre-release kits in my inventory. Anyway, we'll go on our uh, cube collection and see what cards we pull here that we need. 
handle. Oh, I didn't notice. That is really nice. I didn't realize the uh, inside of this looked like that. But we'll go into the uh, inside of my cube manager and we'll see what cards we still need from good old Crimson Val. I don't know how many cards we'll be pulling that we actually do need as like a card we didn't have before. But I do know for a fact a massive chunk of these will be replacements for non-foil versions of the card. If that made any sense at all. But yeah. Well, there goes the, the lid of the cube. Alright, so we already know. Foil token. Lovely. Always happy to have more of these. We need more tokens in general. And then this will go in the token slot. Wherever that went. There it is. All right. So commons. Let's see. Uh, three, two, one, zero. So the commons we still need are probably not this one, but that's okay. Gift of Fangs. Nurturing Presence. Do we need that? We do. We after this one we still need one more. Very happy to have that in foil. We need that one so that one can go directly in the cube. Scattered Thoughts. We do not need. So that will replace a regular version. Blood Petal Celebrant is one of those weird cards because there are showcase versions of this. And I prefer the show non-foil showcase to a regular foil. So in fact, this will just go into my personal trade binder collection thing. All right, now we are on to the uncommons. This is a spiked rip saw, good old chainsaw. We do need one. And now we need zero, so that can go in the uncommon slot, quite nice. Voltaic Visionary, we already have, so we will have to go and replace that. Ooh, that is a lovely, lovely foil island. And let me see where the basics went. I still need a large, large amount of basics from this set. I have 11 islands after this one, which means I still need 39. Winged Portent. I believe I already have this guy. But hey, we'll find out. Yep, we do. So now we get to go find the foil version of him. And then Spectral Arcanist. Nice. I don't need him for the cube since he is not from the center. Ooh, another Maniform Hellkite. This one in extended art. I am very, very happy about that. I don't know if I actually need this. I know I already have two Maniform Hellkites, but the extended art might take Triumph over them. But yeah, we will see. Falconrath Celebrants, I know we probably don't need that, but we will have to go through and make sure. Innocent Traveler, Lucy Westenra version. I'd like to replace the Innocent Traveler with this, so we'll see if we have one or two Lucys already. Chandra Dress to Kill, that is lovely, I believe we do. Oh, we don't actually need a Chandra, but I don't think our version is this version, so we definitely need this one. Bloodsworn Squire, same thing there, and help, Hopeful Initiate, Extended Art Foil, wow, that is a wonderful pack, wow, okay, that is a very, very strong pack, in terms of the rares and mythics we obtained, alright, so, in fact, we got four rares or mythics, these will instantly go in the cube, no need to replacement, but these I must go find and see, so we already have a Winged Portent that is Extended Art, which is, uh, in my opinion, a little bit better than the Foil. So this one is going into my little like Foil Trade Binder Collection thing. Now let's go back to seeing if we can find the other one. Chandra Dress to Kill is regular, so that gets upgraded. Glorious Sunrise, Maniform Hellcat. Oh no, they're both Extended Art. Well, this one will be traded goes in my or my collection i mean they're both the same card so now we're only looking for the hopeful initiate i believe i just have a regular foil if it's even a foil at all it's not even a foil all right so that is a oh, almost dropped all of them that is a great replacement very very much happy with that we'll slide this chandra out slide this one in put that in the cube pile slide the hopeful out Slide this strictly better hopeful in. Training, remove two counters from any creatures you control, and you get to destroy one of my lovely enchantments. What is there not to like? You get to break my stuff. 
All right, all of these are uncommon flip cards. So let us go in and see. Bloodsworn Squire is the first one. So we'll go to B, Bloodsworn Squire. Nice. We only have one. We'll take the non-foil the non regular out. And I'll put them here. So this one goes in. Oh, I don't have enough fingers for this. Bloodsworn Squire. All right. And then loose the Western Rot as Innocent Traveler. Oh. Oh, uh, we have this one, ver this version, though. I suppose the Dracula version is slightly cooler, so I guess we will use this version. So now we have two Showcase Lucy Western Rugs, none of which are foil. Neither of which, I, I should say. The last card, Voltaic Visionary. We have two of them, neither of them is foil, so we will take one. We will make it foil. Nice. Now here comes the hard, hard part of doing the same with the commons. Alright, well this is going to be a uh, fun question mark. Gift of Fang, Scattered Thoughts, and Falconrath Celebrants. Falconrath Celebrants is right here, so that's a fun, that was easy. Very, very quick. I always have to do Scattered Thoughts and Gift of Fangs. Come on, where are you at? Scattered Thoughts. Then you can go into the cube pile that I have to index later. Now we're just looking for that last Gift of Fangs. But yeah, this set is uh, quite nice. I've heard this set is very bomb heavy. So it's very dependent and limited, at least, of what rares and mythics you pull. Gift of Fangs, non-foil. Wonderful. And now it is foil. It is very dependent on the rares and mythics you pull, from what I've heard, while Midnight Hunt is very based on the synergies in commons and uncommons, which is a very interesting uh, balancing act, I will say. All right, now that that pack is done, let's move on to good old Innistrad Midnight Hunt. Midnight Hunt, I have quite a lot from, and I don't actually know if I need much, if anything, from the set. So, we will see. In fact, I've opened so many collector boosters, I actually pulled two f extended art foil meat hook massacres, and I would love another one. Don't get me wrong. However, I don't have much of a use for it, other than, you know, flexing it, as the kids say. Alright, so we'll start off with the commons. In fact, how many? what commons do I need? Oh, I still need quite a few commons. Such as uh, three copies of Definistrate. So I would love to get a copy of that. Anyway, let's get into it. I love how this little segment is already longer than most of my videos. Or most of my weekly updates. Alright, Foil Token. Good old Foil Devil. We will take those. We need those. Those are very, very nice. We need all the tokens we can get. Alright. In terms of uh, foils, flip the switch, we already have four of. Crossroads Candle Guide, we also have four of those, so we will have to go find them, annoyingly. Evolving Wilds, Homestead Courage, ah, this is one we just need, so that is great. Alright, so we now just have this, this one can go straight in the cube, and we are on to the Uncommons. Uncommons we need two of, and um, Ominous Roost is not one of them. Cathar's Call, or Cather's Call, one of the two. Alright, and that's all the uncommons. We don't need any of those. But, those get upgraded, which is very nice. Alright, Swamp. We now have 15 Swamps, which means we only need 35 more. Which is, uh, quite a few. Curse of Surveillance. Let us see what rares and mythics we still actually need. I don't think we need any. Just kidding. We still need three. The Interpret Adversary, Sun Gold Sentinel, Moonvale Region, and the Consuming Blob. So that means this one will find a wonderful home uh, somewhere. That is not quite from the set. So I will put this in my trade binder. Geist Flame Reservoir. Candle Grove Witch. I know I have four foil views already. Tireless Hauler. Like, uh, likewise there. 
Vadrick, why won't you leave me alone, buddy? I opened... I opened a pack today, and I, I got one of these too. It was like, oh, he keeps showing up, and I have a bunch of foils of this guy. Hey, Patrician Geist. Very happy with that one. That one might actually be able to be put in. But yeah, let, let's see if uh, Vadric can be put in. I don't think so. But yeah, so Curse of Surveillance right on top, which means the foil is going into the binder. Now we're looking for Geist Flame Reservoir, Patrician Geist, and good old Vadric. Uh, Triskaidekaphile. Meat. There's the there's the meat hook. It's hard to see the foil on camera. All right, Patrician Geist. I don't actually. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. I feel like I have a sneaking suspicion that I've been pronouncing this wrong. So the regular foil goes in, and then the extended art foil goes into the cube. All right, now time for Geist Flame and the Vadric. Hmm. Yep, Vadric is already showcased, so we will put that in. Now, just for the Geist Flame, it's also already extended art, non-foil. So this is also in the uh, potential trade buyer. <clears throat> All right, in terms of uncommons, we are looking for a Cather's Call and an Ominous Roost. So let us go through Cather's Call. Where are you? All right, we already have one in foil. Now we're waiting for the other one. Oh, both of them are in foil. So this one can go into my little foil binder, or foil pile, as it is now. I kind of ran out of binder space. Which is okay, you know, it's like pile, binder, same thing. One of them is just a little more awkward to carry around with you. Although, they're not worth very much anymore, but that is okay. So, let's see. What are we looking for? Ominous Roost. There's already one in foil. Hey, the second one is non-foil. That means we can actually put this one in. Very happy with that. Very, very happy. All right, and now on to my favorite with uh, quotations part, the commons. This is gonna be a, uh, I might just cut to when I find them, or I might just like, you know, cut this part out. But yeah, thank you for, uh, thank you to my secret Santa, who I don't know, which is, you know, the point, for these great cube additions this week. I love building cubes for standard sets because that means me and my friends get to draft them until the day we die. But yeah, we got quite a lot of commons and uh, uncommons and other just things in general that we need for the cube. So I'm overall very happy with it. Thank you very much, especially for that Chandra. And also thank you very much for this uh, pre-release kit that I will maybe crack. I'm not sure yet. All right. There might be one more package coming, there might not be, I don't know, it was worded a little weirdly. But, I will see you back in the main portion. I also got another box of Commander Legends this week, and now I have five boxes. Once again, I spent a lot of store credit on this box, so it was not actually factored into the weekly spending for this week. I also got two Crimson Val gift bundles, and I'm not sure quite what to do with them yet, so I'll probably just hold on to them for now. In terms of order cards, I got one limited edition Alpha Mountain. It was pretty good quality, and I paid a total of $46.53. I got more cards for my cubes, too. From Innistrad Midnight Hunt, I got one foil Ominous Roost, one foil Flip the Switch, one foil Evolving Wilds, one foil Crossroads Candle Guide, two Homestead Courage, one, one of them which is foil, ten planes, five islands, one of which is foil, seven swamps, two of which are foil, Seven Mountains, one of which is foil, four forests, one extended art foil patrician geist, one foil raised the effigy, one foil bat whisperer, one foil vampire interloper, one foil falcon abomination, one foil soul guide griff, one unruly mob, one lambholt harrier, one foil might of the old ways, one foil morbid opportunist, one vengeful strangler, one loyal griff, one ghoulish procession, one borrowed time, one defend the celestis, one foil vivisection, one foil dryad's revival, one foil beloved beggar, one showcase jadar ghoul call of nefalia, 
one foil curse of silence, two, two defense rates, two tapping at the windows, one blinking, unblinking observer, one search party captain, one secrets of the key, one moon rager slash, one foil diagraph horde, one foil plummet, one foil sun gold barrage, and one foil arrogant outlaw. From Innistrad Crimson Val, we got one foil gift of fangs, one foil scattered thoughts, one showcase Falconrath celebrants, one foil Voltaic visionary, one Lucy Westernra, one fo showcase foil Bloodsworn squire, one extended art foil hopeful initiate, one borderless Chandra dressed to kill, one planes, one foil island, one foil spiked ripsaw, one foil nurturing presence, one wandering mind, one fleeting spirit, one bleed dry, one showcase restless bloodseeker. And lastly, one foil toxic scorpion. The total for magic spending this week was $131.03. And with that being said, that's everything for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a comment with your thoughts, and don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified when you post posted. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at wf.ethan.lee, where I post art sometimes. This is Ethan, over and out.